It's 10 o'clock on Sunday night, and this is a Legion testing their engines. They do this uh, every night, sometimes solidly through like uh, uh, the 5 a.m. takeoffs. But this is a little louder than usual, and I noticed this significantly escalate in probably October, October, November of 2015. 10 o'clock at night on a Sunday. And, you know, normally they've had all kinds of bad uh, press about this because people are complaining. Obviously, uh, you'd rather have this than have the... Um, Planes falling out of the sky, of course, or sucking people out through holes in the fusel fuselage. But they must be pretty desperate to get those planes into shape if they're causing this drastic of a disturbance. Skype, go to meeting, do whatever you can to stop having to, to fly for business. You have no idea how bad the situation is with Wigner and with the gamma rays. I'll drop some links below. Okay, I actually had to stop for a minute because uh, I have... Um, I have synesthesia from having a recent uh, brain surgery, brain decompression for uh, cerebellum uh, tonsillary ectopia. And so I'm a little more sensitive to sound. And I could see like the sound, the, the way it was vibrating in the streetlights. And when I went out back to listen to it first, all the windows were rattling. It was so loud in the back of the house, I couldn't even stand back there and tape this. Anyway, if you're a frequent flyer, and if you fly for work, or you, um, uh, you know, do do whatever you can to try to get your employer to let you use like GoToMeeting or Skype, because of the effect that the recent gamma radiation increases have had, and the Wigner effects has had, is really starting to show up on the planes, and it's as in machine, as in man. Uh, we've been tracking the health effects of this for, for years in pilots after Fukushima. Uh, pilots passing out, having heart attacks, uh, mid-flight dying at the controls, you know, and of course the passengers, all kinds of stories about the passengers. Um, it's happening more in celebrities because they fly so much or singers on tour. And if you look at how many, like, uh, people on tour have had to go in the hospital recently, uh, you'll see that there's a, a kind of a, an almost an obvious correlation without even crunching the numbers. But this is this has gotten just out of control. And um, this is Sanford International Airport that Allegiant flies out of. Um, uh, you can check out the recent expose that was done by 60 Minutes on the problems that they're having with their planes. And then, of course, you know, um, about Southwest and, well, United, Delta, American, they've all had it. The American, uh, the, the nurse that just had the embolism in flight, and then none of the equipment worked either on the plane. Uh, the defibrillator, I don't think they could even check her blood pressure. Like, not even the, the blood pressure cuff worked. There's just equipment breakdowns all across aviation right now, and not just in the planes, but in the people. So, um, you owe it to yourself to pass this along to any of your friends or family that are frequent flyers, because they really need to know. People have been trying to warn about this since uh, early 2000. Robert Babish wrote a, a stunning article in the New York Times, and it just, it was never, um, you know, they, they put it out there for you, but they, they never do anything about it. And aviation needs to step up. They need to do something about this problem, because it's getting really bad. Hey, this is Radchick. Check out the Wigner effect.